morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. On my second call review ever, I bring you an already familiar face, a Mazda GT. But if you look very closely to the saddle exterior changes, and for example, the hockey decal or hockey stripe, you will realize that this is not an ordinary Mustang. This turns out to be a Mustang GT Roush Jackhammer. This is not a regular stage two or stage three Roush. This is the Jackhammer. I will dare to say this is the most amazing extreme version of a Roush Mustang you can get. And let me tell you, it's a lot of fun. And of course, I don't plan on getting ahead of myself too much. This is very exciting. It's my first time ever uh, experiencing driving, seeing, and or let alone reviewing one of these monsters. So yeah, I'm gonna take you around the car first. I wanna show you the subtle changes they made. Uh, I'm gonna show you the interior, the beautiful interior. And lastly, the heart. Oh, and before I forget, I also get to drive this thing and of course tell you about my experience and what it feels like. Now, if you allow me, this time I want to start from the back. First, on top here, we have what Roush calls the deckless spoiler. It's beautiful, it's smooth, slick, keeps the same shape, the same line of the Mustang going all the way to the end. And that's a detail that you have to love. You also have the Roush decklet, which spells Roush as big as it can to make sure that the Hellcat and Camaro owners behind you know what's kicking their ass. You also have two extensions for the rear balance. I'm guessing they really want to add a little more stability on the back because with this thing, you're going to need it. Now, talking about stability on the back of the car, you can try to get some with this MIDI NT triple fives. This is a 305 tire on a beautiful bronze goldish kind of rim. It's a 20 inch rim as well. So there's nothing better than a big rim and a big MIDI tire. Now, if we look up a little, you're going to see this beautiful window and side scoops that although they're not functional they still look amazing with the rest of the body they really do fit well in a mustang and a little further you're gonna see the distinctive roush hockey stripe you can tell why it's called a hockey stripe it's beautiful and when, when once you see a mustang from the side and you see that stripe you better be scared and now we're jumping to my second favorite thing about this car the front end See, in my opinion, when the new facelift of the Mustang came out on, in 2018, I feel like it was missing a lot. It wasn't exciting. It didn't have that spark the previous generation Mustang had. And so here came Roush to the rescue, adding their own little details that, if you think about it, it looks so much better. It kind of makes you feel like the car should have come this way from Ford's factory. Let me show you. You have this huge front splitter which also spells Roush, just in case you, did it, you forgot what car you have. You, you have this beautiful upper and lower grills. And lastly, for the front bumper, you have these corner pockets that, although they're not functional, they still add so much to the front end of the car. And just take a look. When you look at the hood and the front bumper, you can see that what Roush did with this car when it comes to the outside is already amazing. Just like the windshield banner that says Roush, which is the very last thing Hellcat owners see right before you fly past them. Now, I think it's about time I should show you the, the heart of this thing. Not yet. Let's go to the interior. Now, at first glance, the interior of the car might look very unassuming. Might look like your old, good old regular Mustang GT. But if you take a, look, a real closer look to what Roush did, you will realize that it's not the same, of course. You have this beautiful Roush plaque on the dash, Roush inverted seats, Roush door sills, Roush floor mats. Now, although you don't have the biggest, craziest changes in the interior when it comes to the Roush Mustang, you will realize that if you ever have been in a Mustang before, this interior becomes very familiar. It becomes very welcoming because you have experienced this before. But what is not familiar is these different gauges. These are gauges straight from Roush, completely different from the Ford ones. And as you can see, they have their different font, the Roush logo. And this is a subtle change that me personally wasn't expecting. But here it is to make you feel much better about the car you're driving. And of course, you're going to feel happy about the car you're driving when you open the hood. <sighs> Jesus. And you see this, 
the TVS Supercharger by Roush, and for performance. Which will take the power of this car all the way up to 710 horsepower. And we're talking about a Hellcat killer, Camaro Z01 killer, easy. And also you have these two covers for the side of the supercharger where there's, you know, a bunch of cables and things that we don't care about. Because Roush knows that you can destroy haters and also look beautiful. Another beautiful little detail. Another beautiful little detail is that Roush flag on the side of the engine bay, which tells you that you have the real deal. Not just any random Mustang with a random supercharger. It's a 350R. You also get from Roush a very important and subtle and beautiful plaque that tells you that you have the real deal here, not just a random Mustang with a random supercharger put on. Also, you have this amazing intake with a see-through uh, window that just to make sure that you keep that thing clean. Because please just keep it clean. It's a lot of power, it's a lot of pressure for the car. You gotta make sure everything's healthy. And now, the most important part, it's time to drive it. I'm just gonna go and tell you about my ex about my experience driving it, how cool it is, and um, it will be my first time, so I'm a little nervous. But just come join me. As I said before, being in this car, coming, okay, coming from uh, a Mazda GT and a Shelby GT350, climbing into this car, you feel, you feel like you're welcome. And if you have had Mustangs before, you will understand what to do, how to handle these cars better. But the thing is, <laughs> with uh, what Roush did to this car. You feel like all of that knowledge, all of that previous knowledge that you had is gone, all right? Because I'll, I'll tell you right now, these seats, you feel like you're floating. You feel like you can commute to work, you can go to school, and you'll just be chilling. You'll be relaxing, you know, going 35 miles an hour. But if you want to downshift and bunch it, it transforms into a whole different beast, you know? <laughs> This is, this is stupid. <laughs> it's an amazing car with amazing power. Something I personally wasn't expecting. I, I was expecting speed, of course. I was expecting a lot of good power, but nothing like this. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're not, we're not gonna be stupid with this thing. This is insane. I was not expecting this at all, at all. It's a completely different experience from your regular Shelby, your regular Mustang GT, especially how it hooks. Cause yeah, it's a Mustang. Oh, you're gonna kill crowds and stuff. Not with this thing. For some reason, you can, I feel like you can destroy the, the roads in this thing, but at the same time, you feel safe. You know what I mean? You do have to know what you're doing. You have to know kind of how these cars behave, um, how, how to react to certain movements and changes on the road. But if you can manage all that, you feel like you'll be okay. You know, right now I feel like this car is patting my head, just saying, it'll be, it'll be okay, it'll be fine. Just, just don't be stupid. We, we have a short throw shifter, which <laughs> makes it easier to uh, destroy any fast automatic vehicle out there, which it appears to be automatic vehicles are now the, the thing of the future. The only thing that you can use to go fast is an automatic transmission. You know, after driving this, I don't think so. Now, I will tell you, I'm a little new to these kinds of vehicles. I know there's plenty of people out there that have driven faster vehicles, CT500s, you know, Ferraris, whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm being 100% transparent here with my reaction on this, to this thing. This is amazing. 
<laughs> I'm in love with this car. You know, I don't know what I would have done if before buying my GT350, I would have found this first. <laughs> Most likely, I will be driving this every day instead of my car. This is crazy. And also because you have a modern Mustang, you have a more modern uh, suspension, which allows you to turn. You can actually take turns in this thing. I'm not gonna try that because it's a little too dangerous. I wanna be responsible with this thing. But I know for a fact that you can take turns in this thing and just slam the competition with all the power on a straight line. If you take this to the road course, you're gonna be, you're gonna be top one, most likely. And you feel very comfortable. As I said, you feel, I feel like I'm floating. I feel like I'm, I can just relax and just put this thing in cruise control and just enjoy the road. But this is uh, an animal in disguise. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, and those brakes, Jesus. You do need a lot of stopping power for all those horses that want to uh, just go crazy and go all out. Man, the way this thing climbs speed. I was just trying to climb from like 20 to 60 and it's just 40 miles, you know, not much, uh, not much in between that. But the way it does it, how quickly it does it is scary. It, it, it really is scary. And these needles, they really do help. The needles that this car comes with are also magnificent. They're beautiful. They, they are very, very grippy. Let's do, let's do one more here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, I will say, if you buy this car and you wanna go crazy, do it responsibly, but enjoy it. You know, um, for gave us an amazing platform to play with. Roush made it even better with this this uh, jackhammer uh, kit for this car. And honestly, enjoy it. Because you were blessed by the car gods uh, with this thing. This thing is meant to be enjoyed, to, meant to be driven aggressively, but responsibly. And that's Pretty much all I can say about this car, it was it is experience to be around this car in the car driving it. It's a very unique experience. All right, this video was made possible thanks to Performance Luxury Sport here in Marysville, Ohio. Please come in and look at their selection. It's crazy, amazing cars they have over here. Make sure you ask for Mark. If you want one, then you coming with a paper. I ain't testing shorty back.